Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Nintendo DS emulator. D smoo me? Man, I don't know if I said that right. But either way, it's a great emulator. And all you got to do to start off is go down to the description, click on the link that I have down there, and we're going to go to this website here. If you have a 32 bit computer, you're going to download the 32 bit version. If you have a 64 bit computer, you're going to download the 64 bit version. If you don't know what kind of computer you have, download the 32 bit version, you'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version version will bring you over to this website and then we're just gonna save the download and it saves right to my desktop and we're gonna exit out of this now all we have to do is right click we're gonna make a new folder you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it NDS for Nintendo DS and we're gonna open it up we're gonna go to the folder that we have right here and we're gonna open it up this is contains our emulator and we're gonna highlight everything and drag it on in there now all we got to do is open up our emulator and beautiful we're almost done so we're gonna click on configure and then we're gonna go down to com control config and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bind our keys from our keyboard or our controller to the keys of a Nintendo DS so you're gonna click on one of these you're gonna click on up and you're gonna hit what button or key you want to be up and you're just gonna do it throughout all of them if you're using a joystick, you don't have to do this part right here, but if you're using the D-pad of your controller, you have to do it. This is the diagonals of the D-pad. It's hard to do. It might take you a few tries. You'll see me messing up right here. And once you're done, just go ahead and click OK. So the next thing we're going to do is enhance the graphics a little bit by going to View and then Filter. And I usually go with one of these HQs. I usually go with HQ2XS. But the thing you got to remember is these filters with different games, depending on the graphics, they might make it look weird so depending on the game you might need to change it up so don't be afraid to switch up the filter that you're using now we're gonna go to config again we're gonna go to 3d settings we're gonna enable anti-aliasing and um, I enable the line hack and the text hack if you ever find the text is acting funny this is to fix it uncheck it because sometimes it might mess with it same with the line hack and then press OK. If you want to rescale your window, you can do it like this, or you can go into View, go to Window Size. Now we can load up a game, and we can either do that by clicking and dragging a game over to our emulator, or we can go to Open ROM right here, which is this folder, click on it, find where our ROMs are located, and load it up. And if you want to change the way the screens are laid out, you can do that by going to View. You can switch it to Horizontal or Vertical, whatever you'd like. Also, you can switch the orientation of the screen as well. If you go back to view once more, and then you can make the switch which one's on top and which one's on bottom. And when you need to select something from the bottom screen, all you have to do is click on it to interact with it. Now you're ready to play, so have fun. And if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And check out some of my other videos, because I got a whole bunch of other stuff just like this that might be able to help you out. You have a good one, homies.